Hey everybody, I'm here to show you how Exchange Email works with HTC Sense on Android 2.1. First thing I'm going to show you is how to set up your Exchange on Sense. Go to Menu, Settings, Accounts and Sync, Exchange Active Sync, Account Settings, and Configure Server. You're going to need to know five things under here to set up your email. Email address, server address to your Exchange server, domain name, username, and password. Once you're done there, hit Save and your phone should sync. Now, HTC Mail has uh, quite a few settings here. Um, when you download past mail, this tells you how far back you want your mail to download, how many days back that is. I wouldn't pick all. That one. That's going to fill up your ROM in a hurry, especially if you get a lot of mail. Um, to conserve size, you can set your mail size limit and your include file attachment. I have never there. I just download it when I want to view it. Back here, schedule. This is pretty nice. Um, you can set your peak and off peak times to help conserve battery. Have men set for Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., and then the frequency as items arrive. Now, when I'm not at work, I don't really care, so I have my email set to come in in every hour. Back here, um, these are the items you can sync with Exchange your mail, contacts, and calendar. When you notice some um, tasks isn't listed here, which is kind of a bummer, but it's not really that big of a deal for me because I use my calendar for my task basically. But some people it is going to be an issue, so hopefully HTC includes it in their next version of Sense. Next, we're going to look at email. I have the HTC Mail widget up here, which is kind of nice. I can view my mail real quickly right from the home screen. And then if you click here, that brings up the Mail app actually. Now. The HTC Mail app does support folders, which is really nice. So if you click Menu, Folders, and you can view all your folders here. Now if you want to move mail between folders, go to Menu, More, Move To, and then select the mail you want to move. Click that, Move, Help Desk, and boom, we'll go and check Help Desk. There it is, it moved. Back out of here. Now, question on a lot of people's mind, does HTC Mail support the global address book or looking up the company directory? And yes, it does. So if we go into compose a new email, we want to look up somebody in our company directory here. You click people search, or click company directory, and we're going to search. Dave. Search for Dave. There we go. We're going to pick Dave here. Okay. Now see Dave. Now if you want to add more people into the, the mail here, you just click search again into the company directory and add another person. We're gonna back out of here and can discard this. Now the other thing is uh, meeting invites. When you get a uh, meeting invite in your email, I got a meeting invite from Dave here, but mm, I can't go to this meeting, so I'm gonna decline it and you get a few choices here just like Windows Mobile I'm gonna say no I'm not gonna send a response another thing is uh, there's a few settings under here that you might want to be aware of like notifications um, these are separate from your other notifications in your phone for as far as uh, email notifications and sound notifications and vibrate it's just for the mail app here so next we're gonna look at the calendar app. Now I have the HCC calendar widget up here which is kind of nice. I like looking at my calendar real quickly on my home screen here. But if you click on a day it actually brings up the app into that day or you click up here and it brings up the calendar view of the app or the month view. Over here it gives you agenda view. Looks like you see your agenda. Now let's uh, set up a meeting here and invite somebody to it. So we're going to go 29th here. Event. Now up here, this is the calendar you want to pick. There's, you know, you, there's multiple calendars on the phone here. So pick the calendar you want. The event. Test meeting. Where? My office. Description. My new phone. 
now we want to invite somebody to this meeting here. So we go to menu, meeting invitation, and now we get the same people search up here. Company directory. Now we're going to invite Dave. Dave. Search. Dave. Okay. There's Dave. Send. We just sent Dave a meeting invitation. Now we save it to our calendar. And we're good to go. There it is. Now the next way you can search the company directory or hold on here um, there's a few more settings under calendar Go more calendars there's multiple calendars that you can aggregate all into this one calendar which is kind of nice your Facebook exchange Google back out here there's more settings again you got reminder settings and notifications under here they want to be aware of. They're separate from my other notifications. Now we'll go look at looking up the company directory through your contacts. This is if you want to look up somebody's phone number or their email address or whatever without having to actually go into one of the mail or calendar apps. So we go to people. Now at the bottom here you got your little slider. Go over to online directories, company directory. Now we're going to search for Jeff. Search. Drop the calendar or keyboard out of the way. Put in Jeff. Now you see we got two numbers in there and an email address. That's all I have for you today. Thank you.